immunohistochemistry. Immunohistochemistry is localization of specific antigens detected using specific antibodies in biological samples. INC is used for disease diagnosis, biological research, and in drug development. The first step of INC is deparaffinization and dehydration. Deparaffinization is done to remove wax from tissue sections and it can be done using xylene followed by washes with series of downgraded alcohol and alternatively we recommend to use diagnostic biosystems TP3 for one step deparaffinization and dehydration. Second step is antigen retrieval, which is the most important step in IAC. Antigen retrieval is a laboratory technique in IAC and has been instrumental in unmasking low level of formalin crosslink antibodies in formalin fixed paraffin embedded tissues. One of the common methods used for antigen retrieval is heat based antigen retrieval. We at Diagnostic Biosystem recommend our Montage Opus 365, which is based on heat induced epitope retrieval method. After antigen retrieval, we need to wash the slides with immuno wash buffer three times one minute each. Third step is peroxidase block. This step is to block endogenous peroxidase activity in some tissue sections like kidney, liver, etc. Apply 100 to 150 microliter of peroxidase block in fixed tissue sections. We need to wash the slides with immuno wash buffer three times one minute each. Fourth step is background blocking. This step is to eliminate non specific binding. Add 100 to 150 microliter of background blocker to the tissue sections and incubate the slides for 5 minutes. We need to wash the slides with immuno wash buffer 3 times 1 minute each. Fifth step of IHC is addition of primary antibody. In this step, add 100 to 150 microliter of primary antibody based on the tissue sections and incubate for 60 minutes at room temperature. Diagnostic biosystems offer a wide range of antibodies in concentrated as well as pre-directed formats, optimized to provide high quality IHC states. For more information, refer to our each antibody data sheet that is available on our website www.dbiosys.com. We need to wash the slides with immuno wash buffer three times one minute each. Sixth step is enhancer. The role of enhancer is to enhance the signal to the secondary antibody. Apply 100 to 150 microliter of enhancer to the tissue sections onto the slides and incubate it for 15 minutes at room temperature. We need to wash the slides with immuno wash buffer three times one minute each. Seventh step is addition of secondary antibody. In this step, HRP conjugated secondary antibody binds directly to the primary antibody. Add 100 to 150 microliter of HRP conjugated secondary antibody to the tissue sections and incubate it for 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature. We need to wash the slides with immuno wash buffer three times one minute each. Eighth step is addition of DAB substrate solution. DAB is a substrate for the enzyme HRP. To prepare DAB working solution, take 1 ml stable DAB buffer and 20 microliter DAB promotion in an empty mixing bowl and mix it. We need to wash the slides with immuno wash buffer 3 times 1 minute each. Ninth step is counter step. This step aids in proper visualization and target localization of antigens within the tissue sections. Add 100 to 150 microliter of hematoxylin and incubate it for 2-3 to three minutes at room temperature. We need to wash the slides with immuno wash buffer 3 times 1 minute each. 10th step is dehydration. In this step, we need to wash the slides with a series of graded alcohol 2 minutes each. Last step is mounting media. Clear the slides with xylene, add mounting media to the tissue sections and allow the slides to dry at room temperature. Examine the slides under the microscope and you can see the results. We at Diagnostic Biosystems offer global quality INC products for your INC needs. For more details, you can visit our website 
www.bbiases.com